There are few things more fun in life than watching your friends tear their hair out over a trick or puzzle that you know the answer to. This is especially true when there's a pint in it for you if they guess right, and there's no way they possibly will. Here are a number of bar bets that will always go your way. Amazing! This is a deviously simple trick that will infuriate anyone who tries to take you up on the bet. You're going to bet your friend that you can toss a match in the air and make it land on its side. First, you have to convince him or her that putting ink on one side of a match could affect which side the match will land on. It won't, but it's a good way to start the conversation. Next, claim you can get the match to land on its side. Assuming your friend takes you up on the seemingly impossible, all you have to do is, pausing for dramatic effect, bend the match. Suddenly, when you toss it in the air, the only way the match can land is on its side. A seemingly impossible trick about an impossible object. This one requires a little bit of magician-style patter at the beginning. Tell your betting partner that you were sold an impossible object that no one has ever seen before, including you. You are currently keeping it inside a cigarette box, or something that can be shaken to assure people that the object is, in fact, real. To add some extra intrigue, tell the person that if you show them the object, no one will ever see it again. Sounds impossible? Not if you think about it long enough. Once your friend has run out of patience, or given up on guessing, it's time to open the box. So what is the object that no one has ever seen before? An unshelled peanut. Break it open and eat it. The peanut had never been seen, and will never be seen again. Here's one that could get a little messy. Tell your gullible friend that you will put a shot of tequila on the table in front of them and bet them that there's no way they'll be able to drink a shot of tequila without spilling all of it. The crucial part of this bet is in the wording. Promise them that you will put the shot in front of them. Now, grab a playing card or a coaster and place it on top of the full shot glass. Turn it upside down and place it on the table. Unless they can invent a straw that will cut through the bottom of the glass, there's no way to get to the tequila without spilling everything. If you love a good puzzle to make these long hours of alcohol consumption extra exciting, here's a good one. Place four coins on the table, each touching at least one other one in a diamond pattern. Challenge your friend to position the coins in a straight line. However, there are a few rules they have to adhere to. These are, you can only move one coin at a time, and each time you let go of your chosen coin, it has to be touching at least two others. And no pushing other coins with the coin you choose. And you only get four moves. Here's how it's done. The trick is to not move the coin at the top of the base at all. Move one of the two coins in the middle of the diamond to the bottom. Next, take the second coin from the middle of the diamond and move it at the base of the diamond. Now move the third coin to the far side of the first two coins. You should now have a nice gap between the fourth coin and the other three. Take the second coin, place it in the gap, and there you have it, a straight line. At first, this one appears like it might be similar to the earlier match trick. We're betting people that we can drop a piece of cork and get it to land upright on the table, on its thin edge. However, we're not going to bend the cork or weigh it down or add a magnet or anything like that. We're going to do exactly what we said. Most people, probably everyone, will assume that the best way to do this is to hold it with the thin edge facing the table and drop it. That would be wrong. The trick is to hold it about one cork length away from the table one and a half if it's a synthetic cork, and make sure you're holding it sideways. Drop it and it will land with the thin edge against the table, like it does here. This one seems like the odds are 50-50, so it's always a good trick to entice people into a betting, as they think they have a reasonable chance of winning. Grab a book of matches. Put one match in one side and one match on the other. Then, place a third match between these two. Now, ask your friend to light the third match in the middle. But before they do, ask him or her to guess whether the flame will light the match on the left or the right side first. It doesn't matter which one they guess, they'll never win. The match in the middle will always fall out before the flame reaches either of the other two matches. As soon as the match starts burning, it will bend in the middle and collapse before even managing to touch either matches on the side. You've possibly seen this one before, practiced by those odd people who are, or claim to be, able to knot a cigarette without breaking it. And then, once the knot is undone, leave the cigarette completely usable. Doesn't seem possible? Here's how it's not. Take the plastic off your box of cigarettes. Break it open and flatten it out. Roll the cigarette into the cellophane, making sure the whole cigarette is inside the cellophane. Twist the ends closed. 
Now you should be able to tie the cigarette into a knot without it breaking. Untie the knot, remove the plastic, and the cigarette should still be entirely smokable, if you're into that sort of lung-destroying thing. This is another seemingly impossible trick that requires a little bit of acting and a lot of cheek. You're going to place a hat on top of a shot of tequila, or your shot of choice, and bet that you can drink the shot without touching the hat. Now, close your hands as if you are holding the tequila glass in it. Pretend to drink it like this. Now claim you have in fact drank the tequila without touching the hat. Your friend will presumably think you're lying. Challenge them to check under the hat for themselves. Once they've lifted the hat, you pick up the glass and drink from it. <laughs> Not the most honorable of tricks in the world, but it isn't called a trick for nothing. This is an age-old question and one we're going to get to the bottom of right now. Which is bigger, the circumference of a pint glass or its height from the table? The easy answer your friend will presumably conclude is the circumference of the glass. However, what if you place some napkins underneath the glass? Now which is higher? Add some more napkins until it appears to be clear that the height of the glass from the table is the answer to your question. Once your friends have decided to change their bet, it is time to get some string out and do some measuring. Unless you've really stacked your glass with too many napkins, the circumference of the glass should still be bigger than the height of the glass from the table. If you really, really need to open a padlock, or you're just trying to impress people in the pub and don't have any keys, there is a relatively simple way to do it. All you need is a little know-how about how padlocks work, a soda can, and some scissors. Padlock shims are devices that can be inserted into padlocks that then trigger the lock to open. To make your own, cut as close to the edge of a soda can as possible, opening the can out until you have a flat piece of aluminum. Remove the rough edges of the can and cut a little strip off its end, remembering to leave a little point in your rectangle. Fold over the straight edge of your can at the end, so you have a thicker end to use for leverage. This is your shim. Now all you have to do is work the shim with the pointed end, face down along the lock side of the padlock. Once you've worked it into where the shackle meets the locking mechanism, squeeze both ends of the shim together, pull up on the lock at the same time, and hey, presto, you're free. There you go, another 10 tricks to astound, confound, and infuriate your friends. Tell us how they reacted in the comments below, and as always, subscribe for more amazing videos, life hacks, and more ways to ensure you never have to buy another round at your local again. Thanks for watching.